Today we're putting on our hard hats once again to show you a fascinating little site which, unusually for us at Tideway, sits away from the River Thames. Our site in King George's Park in Wandsworth has got a bit of everything. We've got tunnelling, we've got a beautiful new piece of park and we've even got public art. I'm Kieran Bufong and you're watching Tunnel Vision. Our sites on the Super Sewer project normally fall into one of two categories. First, there's our CSO sites, our combined sewer overflow sites, where we're intercepting the sewage spills that would usually end up in the Thames. And second are what we call our dry sites, where we've dug deep into the ground in order to launch our tunnelling machines. And here at King George's Park, we're doing both. King George's Park in Wandsworth sits right next to this, the River Wandle a nine mile tributary of the River Thames that runs through Wandsworth, Merton, Sutton and Croydon. In a typical year, London's overburdened sewer network spills around 86,000 tonnes of sewage into the Wandle. To put that into perspective, that's 35 Olympic swimming pools worth of sewage flowing into the River Wandle every year. The good news is, our works will reduce those spills by an incredible 98%. We'll take those flows and divert them into what we call our Frogmore Connection Tunnel. This 1.1 kilometre tunnel links Wandsworth to the main super sewer in Fulham. Let's get on site and find out more. Hi Kieran, welcome to King George's Park. Thanks for having me Amy. Can you tell us a bit about what you do here? Yep, I'm one of the engineers, so I've been building the site from when it was a big hole in the ground to how it is now when it's fully landscaped and ready to be handed over to the public again. Well, what did you get up to when you first joined the project? So I started as a site engineer, so I was doing a lot of the setting out works and now I'm more up to the office management and a lot of planning for the future works. So Amy, what are Tideway doing at this location? So at King George's Park, we're a CSO site, um, so that's where we're directly intercepting the flow to take that into the new tunnel. And also we're a TBM reception site, so we built our drop shaft behind us and the TBM Charlotte broke through here and that created the Frogmore Connection Tunnel which then connects into the main one. Well it looks like so much has happened here Amy, can you talk to me a bit about the construction story and um, what's happened so far? So when we joined this was parkland so we set up our site around it and removed a bit of the vegetation and trees to make it a construction site. We then did all the piling for the shaft and that allowed us to then dig our way down 25 to 30 metres below ground to the point where the TBM needed to break through. After that, we then moved into building the hydraulic structures, so the interception and valve chambers, which will take the flow from the CSO and stop it going into the rivers. And as you can see behind us, we have our above ground mechanical and electrical chaos that controls all of the equipment that we have in the structures. You mentioned the CSO, can you talk a bit more about that? So the CSO runs directly across our site. It's about 200 to 300 mil below ground level, so very, very close, and it's a really old asset. But ultimately, when the project is finished and handed over, all of that flow won't be passing through the site and into the river, and it'll be diverted into the tunnel here. And what's it been like working on a public park like this? Definitely, it has its challenges. We have a lot of residents close by, and obviously the interface with the public um, taking over a bit of their parkland. We just keep on top of keeping them up to date with everything that we're doing, if it involves any weekend work, um, and just making sure they're up to date with all the works on the job. Hi Hamdi, nice to meet you. Uh, can you tell us a bit about what you do here? Yeah, we have done this beautiful landscaping as you can see. We have started from zero to this point where it is. We started this project in January 2022. We work in more projects. This is not the only one, yeah. but this is the most special one. Yeah, yeah. The shape of it looks more beautiful. Yeah, it's really beautiful here. Can you tell me your favorite thing about this project that you're working on? First of all, on landscaping is like, you learn new things every day. Yeah. That's the beauty of the landscaping. Yeah. But of this special project in here is the, the shape, the design of it. We started, there was nothing in this park, as you can see, we have installed 21 trees in total wow. and a lot, like 2,000 plants and all this greenery area, the grass and everything. And how do you think the public will be using the space once it's open? Public, I think they're going to come around here, have a nice picnic, have a nice pictures and enjoy the time. Will you be coming down here once it's open? Of course, I think I'll be one of the first ones coming here.
that's it for this episode. If you want to learn more about what we're doing on our sites, visit our website. Let us know what you thought in the comments down below and tune in next time on Tunnel Vision.